which is our third year for a supercomputing cluster uh, competition. And uh, this year we have uh, six computer science students to be in that competition. And um, we will introduce our um, application and uh, benchmark one by one. And first of all, we are uh, going to introduce in CSM. Um, we actually do a lot of research before um, the competition, like whether it could be compiled and um, um, uh, in different um, issues and for different PE layouts. But um, we only made it because uh, we, we, we didn't come to that the, um, the task MPI task for CSM is so big, like as big as uh, 540. So we only um, uh, made the task two and task three because they are um, 480. And we come into some runtime error and we eventually didn't solve it. So so we we, uh, we eventually get two tasks completed. And uh, um, like King Yuan, could you introduce the uh, Gromax? Uh, okay. And, um... The, um, since I'm a computer science student, um, the, the first, the most challenging thing uh, of running Gromax is I have less background knowledge about Gromax, and I miss a lot of troubles uh, of compiling and uh, do the uh, molecular dynamics run um, simulation of the uh, the the virus. So, um, but uh, finally we got it and run and submit two of three questions. Of this Groomax challenge, and we uh, we try different MPI ranks and OpenMP threads uh, to optimize the <clears throat> optimize the application, and finally we um, we get the best performance. Um, so that you turn to uh, introduce the MMICT. Okay. Oh, okay. That's all. When I talk about the Mr. Application Minivity, well, um, we managed to do, try different compilers of MPI and enter MPI libraries to run the Mr. Application. And for the first two tasks, uh, it seems to have very good discoverability. So we just grow the number of nodes and, and it seems to have a very nice linear scalability on running these uh, two tasks. So we cut the running runtime due to uh, 24 nodes as well. And for the weak scaling test, um, well, one thing I have to mention is that the options, the, the collectivist method, it, um, we, we did not notice any difference on compared with those four different component methods. So I will just use the default one. And the weak scaling tasks, uh, um, it seems that they're due to its very nice uh, scalability. The communication overloads do count a lot. So we just used uh, x, x equals to one, which is one nodes to for task three and four, and two nodes for task five and six, and we got, um, I mean, comprehensively fast result. That's all. So I'm taking uh, I'm taking to charge of the IO five hundred uh, benchmark, and uh, we initially uh, run this benchmark on a single SSD, uh, but finally we uh, try to run this uh, benchmark on a uh, logging node with 10 uh, premium SSD. So uh, I made a, a RAID 0 uh, disk array for it and uh, run this benchmark uh, to different MPI uh, process numbers. So finally, I, uh, we got the uh, result of 20 score on this benchmark. Um, and for HPL, we just applied them on uh, P100, um, with two node P100 and run just uh, 14, but we get 20 for the best, but uh, I think they will just show up the lowest score in one uh, one uh, one results. Um, and at last, we we can, we tried to make it on scale scale at uh, thirty two nodes p one hundred, but uh, but for some uh, runtime error because our binary is just for two nodes, so it was not able to run them on uh, thirty two nodes. Um, and um, for some. Um, 
uh, first of all, we we uh, we we, we de deploy the HPC Gen Trail L for 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 firstly set up the uh, hardware, but and lastly we uh like in, in twenty um tw um two hours or so we started to um deploy the the, the, the final benchmark settings, but uh, eventually we lost two cars in one node, so uh H HPCG was not able to be um be com completed within. Uh, one hour's test, uh, so which is a pity for for for, for this competition. Um, um, and uh, for C CSM, I want to add, add more uh, same stuff. Uh, uh, we we think that this uh, test case is more um, down to earth and and more scaled um, than than we previously touched off. Um, CSM, uh, we 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 have some basic knowledge of uh, it was. Um, to pr um, um, predict uh, um, trying to use the data from 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 the um, oxygen layer um, the ozone layer um, the ocean layer or some some other um, data data to 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 predict a, to pr pr predict the weather like tomorrow or or something um, and the database the database was based on 9550s Task four is based on the uh, the prediction from task one, and um, they they have uh, the, our task case is based basically one for one year simulation, which um, um, the database is uh, like around one hundred and fifty gigs. Um, that is super requires our cohesion of the uh, teamwork for me and uh, Zhi Jun Xu. Um, uh, or, or we think we could like compile it use, using GNU compiler and um, come up with no runtime error, but we uh, we falsely choose the uh, Intel and get some some um, like fork fork bash bound for uh, for for the current bash or, or or some other random runtime error for the segmentation fault, uh, and we eventually didn't solve it. And for Gromax, actually, we uh, we knew that the task three is so big to run over, and we seen uh, Peking University made it uh, for three um, tasks. And we think if, if we knew it before, we could just give up the third task and for for benchmarks. Um, and for Tsinghua University, they actually do a very good uh, teamwork over benchmarks, and they they knew once I added five hundred. Uh, U.S. dollars uh, budgets, which we didn't uh, like for for seeing it before. We thought it may be a reduction for for the for the budgets, but it was it eventually get to uh, um, adding the budgets and Tsinghua University make good use of it. And at last, we 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 like think like the same with Tsinghua University, but uh, but we didn't make it because of our limitations of uh yeah. And I think that's the summary of our um, interview task of the uh, SE20 for Shanghai Tech. Um, first of all, I want to thank Shanghai Tech University, which provides me provides us with uh, um, the locations and computers and monitors to 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 uh, live go live of our whole competition. And uh, I want to especially thank uh, our advisor uh, Ying Dongzhang and Shu Ying. They provide me a provides us with the uh, greatest help and uh, like they got guided us no matter to like raise our capability and like made us um, like no matter financially or mentally or um, in, in, in capability. And I also want to thank the, the committee of uh, SC20. They provide such a tremendous work for, um, for gathering so much um, talented People in in such a group, and as for the uh, advice advice for the future uh, future students, I I, I think um, uh, they should prepare well for for um, for the super cluster computer because there's so many random bugs or some uh, random um, segmentation faults during the dur during the running time or compiling time in the uh, in the like uh, virtual and this year. Uh, especially it's it's called virtual and um things sounds like it's a mess like 
we we didn't have experience before that we could scale at like 20 nodes or 30 nodes or 50 nodes um, of running benchmarks or applications. So um, just be prepared. Um, we 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 wasted a lot of time deploying the the uh, chassis. We think um, that if we like run uh, added more scripts um, and make it make it usable and practical during the runtime, we could we could deploy it faster and eventually made a better score. So so I think it's a summary of our um, advice.